All right, hello and welcome back to the Elder Scrolls. Well, yes, um, but Oblivion more precisely. Um, so yeah, we are back. Uh, last time, uh, we did more of the arena, uh, which is excellent. Uh, we are now actually at the point where we're going to challenge the Grand Champion. Uh, we had some pretty, pretty trying times though, like. Holy crap, it's it's been absolutely wild trying to uh to do the arena. Just the advanced AI from Mascar's Oblivion Overhaul, the dodging and shield bashing abilities from Deadly Reflex, like these guys are much harder, and especially because I'm fighting them at like level 15. Pretty crazy. But yeah, so we're supposed to be going to Crowhaven. However, we came across some random outposts, not even on the map. Um now I had a sneaking suspicion. I did a little bit of research. Apparently, it is actually a dynamically generated dungeon. It does have an end to it, but it is actually dynamically generated, which is really cool, actually. So at some point, I, uh, you're supposed to find an end to it, and then like there's a red teleporter that takes you back to the beginning. Almost just... Yeah, I don't understand that. You are right. Um... I may, like, reduce the amount by, like, ten times, because it seems really weird that, like, it gives me ten times the amount of gold. That must be, like, something to do with the, that stuff, so. I might, I might take off, like, you know, ten times the amount. It's really weird, I don't know why. It's, like, giving me, like, yeah, like, normally you'd get, what, 250, and I'm getting 2,500, and, like, kind of game-breaking. Um, so I'll have to take a look at that and see what's up. But anywho, um, I'll probably do that tomorrow. Anywho, uh, we can level up, and uh, I want to continue looking at that crazy dynamic dungeon. Alright, so we'll do that, and that, and endurance. Sweet. That'll work great. Alright, and let's head back in. Be able to do a little bit of research. I, I guess I never noticed it in the past was the problem. But yeah, we, oof, yeah no, we shouldn't have that much gold. Yeah no, I'm gonna reduce that. Um, I'll calculate how much gold you're supposed to get, and then subtract it from like I'll look at like the previous videos and stuff and figure out like what I should have versus what I have now. Because that's just disgusting. Like, I'd understand if I, like, sold something amazing, but no, nah, it's not how the arena works. <laughs> Alright, so. We're in this crazy dynamic dungeon, and, uh... It's, it, it's kind of interesting. It reminds me of the older style of games. How about some cave vision? Yes. Call. There you go. It doesn't help that much, unfortunately. Okay, we got another little dungeon here with a, a silver key. Light spells, too. Yeah, I'll use both, because honestly, it's really dark in this place. Alright. So I think last time we did actually set up some summons. I'll set up one more. Yeah, we, we, we're now able, we have enough magic to be able to actually summon black bears, elytra. I think we can actually summon trolls as well. Let's see here, summon guardian, define a hotkey, overworld, journeyman, troll. Oh, I can only have five guardians in memory at a time. Oh. Interesting. Huh, I didn't know that was a, a thing. I mean, I, I suppose we could get rid of the imp. So... I just... Do that. See if that works. I see. That's another mod, so I'm not sure if that's like a, a thing you're supposed to do. Apply the hotkeys. Oh, maybe it's clear memory. 
Yeah, okay, interesting. So we'll have to do that at some point. And then redefine them. Okay, let me just... Make a note for myself to redefine the hotkeys. But yeah, these, uh, it's really cool. We've basically been doing, like, this dungeon. It's been, a, a like, pressure plates and stuff. Hey, London Rook. The druiding's going well, yeah. Alright, so let's summon... Now, the, the what I'm doing here is, as soon as I get on this pressure plate, this grate behind me is going to close, and then, like, we're going to be attacked by, like, a whole bunch of stuff. So I'm trying to set up a battle here. Oh, right, I don't have magic. Oh, uh, I think it's better that I just wait. Go Elytra Drone. And let me see here. I think I might just do a, um, patrol manually here. Summon Overworld Journeyman Troll. Oh, right. I need to wait. There we go, excellent. Let's make a save. Oh boy, let's see what happens. Last time, uh, the, the few times we have done this, it's been uh, goblins and minotaurs. Oh, it's harpies this time. Oh, resisting shock damage. Oh my gosh, what the? Is that one stuck in the ground? Nice. Oh, that was great. All right. We've defeated our enemies. Feathers. Bandage. Ah, there's the silver key. Nice. Hey, Noodle Doodle, how's it going? Good to see you. Dead adventurer. Red guard mace. Winged chainmail helm. Ooh. Dwarven Dark Greaves. Iron Cops. Some very interesting stuff here. Cool. Let's check it out. Is this better than what I have? Three. Three. Oh, it looks fucking cool though. That's awesome. Oh, that's 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 freaking cool. Awesome. Oh, it looks like my dudes are still alive. Well, the other time we were fighting Minotaurs and it was it was ridiculous. Like we just friggin' got owned all the time. All right. Just open the next room. Let's me. Uh, I'll get Starlight ready to go. Actually, no. I prefer Starlight over the Eyes of Maidens. Let me see her. I should make a better version. A Valkyrie, Valkyrie Druid. Yeah, now we're talking. Uh, let me see here. This place has been pretty interesting. But yeah, you can kind of see how, like, I, I am a little concerned that we'll never see the end of this dungeon. Like, it... it Apparently it's supposed to have an end, but it seems endless. Which isn't a problem, except I, I am actually technically in the middle of a mission right now. <laughs> I think that was just a circle there, yeah. I guess maybe the higher numbers, the farther you are from the entrance? Not sure. Oh, I need to heal. I'll just check if that was some sort of crazy thing there. Gosh, it is pretty funny though, seeing your own summons and then being like, oh crap, there's a troll. Oh wait, it's mine. Got 
here. Last time we went through this, we actually found like some crazy stuff shopping. Apples, onions, lard, cheese, and milk. Light spell again. Raise my illusion as well. There's some folded cloth, some scissors. Take some bandages, clay. We found a, what was it? A winemaker's deed in one of these, so that's gonna be good. Ring grinder, ocean of weariness, modern pestle. Place. Hey Jackal, how's it going? Good to see you. Yeah, right now we're in like some sort of crazy modded dungeon. Trying to see if there's an end to this place. Um, I'm half expecting that this actually just goes on forever. I'm not sure. Uh, I think we've got the the capes and cloaks. We've got book writing kits. Yeah, doing good, doing good. Alright. Huh. Checking out what else. There's like wood ash and stuff. I guess I'll need that for crafting eventually. Let's see what that's all about. Um, ah, here we are. Just a lever somewhere. Hello, bear. Ah, here we are. It does remind me of like really old RPGs. Like this is definitely how dungeons were set up back in the day. It's pretty wild. Gives me like the like Daggerfall vibes as well as uh, Legend of Grimrock. Ah, so there's a red one. That'll take us back to the beginning. Interesting. So I think we did actually find uh, the end of this dungeon. It's like. I was kind of expecting some loot, though. I mean, we did find that chainmail helm, which is pretty cool, but I was expecting, like, some big treasure at the end. Maybe we were just unlucky and we didn't get that. Let's go through that blue teleporter, see what's up. Hey, Berserker, how's it going? We're just going through uh, that crazy dungeon we found earlier. Uh, I think I did find an ending teleporter which would take us back to the beginning. But I'm just trying to like, see if there's some sort of treasure room or something. Because so far we've seen battle rooms a few times, uh, but haven't seen a treasure room yet. Like I'm expecting we'll like go down a corridor and like, instead of junk, see like some good stuff. We'll see, though. Got a sweet friggin' helmet, though. Oh, that takes us back to the beginning. But yeah, apparently this is added by a Mass Cars Oblivion Overhaul. Uh, and these are actually called Dynamic Dungeons. Uh, basically, they can be... Apparently, anywhere, anywhere in the world. And they can kind of just go on forever. Right, there's bound to be some sort of treasure. I mean, we've grabbed a few things, but... Yeah, you'd th you'd think. Ooh, a medium backpack. Well, there you go. I mean, sure, it didn't come in a treasure chest, but that's the fucking best thing you could possibly give me. Um. Oh, jeez. I just walked in. Oh, well, thanks, Berserker. Appreciate that. Takes us back to the beginning. Let's check the mini map here to see what's going on. Yeah, okay, I think we found uh, an end to it. I don't see any other uh, rooms, so I think we'll, we'll pretty much just go after this. Interesting. Pretty odd, though. That's just an ending portal again. And there were other corridors as well that I didn't check out. Other doors. 
So I guess it's sort of like a branching thing where it has like its main thing and then there you can go off this way, this way, but they all sort of lead to back to the beginning if you get like completely lost. There is that room right there we haven't checked out, so I'm going to try to get there if I can. I think I have to go to a teleporter. Hello, Rolly Dog. How's it going? Hey, we're exploring this crazy dungeon. Uh, we're about to head back out and do the Crowhaven quest. Where is... Okay, we're in the right place. Fantastic. Awesome. But yeah, it's crazy. Uh, apparently this is a dynamic dungeon added by Mascar's Oblivion Overhaul. Um, I, I was right yesterday in saying that all these are actually like randomly generated. It's pretty wild. Right, nope, not a treasure room. Very interesting. Maybe it's like a... Hmm. Like probably if we kept exploring, maybe we'd find a treasure room. But yeah, very interesting. So far, haven't found a crazy amount of things. Anywho, uh, one of the cool things we did yesterday was uh, we actually tamed Pork Chop, the boar that helps you out in the arena. So uh, we're currently rolling with him right now and seeing how he does in combat. Although I'm fully expecting to go back to uh, Spooder. Are you nice? Alright, so apparently that should take us back to the beginning. Yep. But yeah, as you can see, here's the Gold Coast. Then there's Forgotten Outpost L, X, 5, 1, and 1. So it's, there's a lot of places to explore. But it's very interesting. Oh yeah? Oh gosh, something's happening. They're all running. What, what are they doing? I don't know what they're doing. Alright. Uh, let me just fast travel for just a quick second here. Because I need Pork Chop to appear. And I don't know where he is. Uh, let me go ahead and I'm going to unsummon my other dudes because I don't need them right now. Why not combine both Spooter Chop? Oh gosh. I can't imagine what would happen if you mixed together a boar and a spider. Ooh. Oh yeah, we'll heal up. We'll heal up. I'm not concerned right now. Um, oh, huh, where did Pork Chop go? Hmm. It's nightmare fuel. Uh, let me head back to that thing. Where's Spooter? Uh, he's safe. Uh, we just tamed another creature. Uh, so I'm trying him out. It's it's actually uh, Pork Chop from the arena. We were actually able to tame him, which is kind of cool. Um, except I gotta find him again. Unfortunately, he wouldn't come in, into the dungeon with me. So he might just be like sitting around out here. There you are. You're very happy. Good. Follow me. And be a guardian. Good. Spooter's currently causing the oblivion crisis. But yeah, uh, he, he like waited outside because... Stop. Let's wait for an hour. Alright. And let's do this. Love our new helmet. It's so cool. But yeah, we're doing the crow hibbing quest right now. Oh, we got some. We got a skeleton summoning another skeleton. Oh, great! Tell me what? Uh, does that does that bone knight have a freaking ebony freaking mace? Ah! Get him, poor chop. 
Come on, pork chop. Get the kill. Pork chop, you can do it. Nice, pork chop got the kill. How you doing? That sh Whoa, he's level five. I didn't even realize he was level five already. That's cool. But yeah, bone knife. Ah, oh, crap. Of course he drops an ebony mace, but because of physics, it's probably rolled down the hill. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> Um, it's like Darkest Dungeon, right? Self-sustaining necromancy. NAM farm, how's it going? Oh, no. Why? Can't, why can't it be attached to his body, right? Like, because it was on his body at one point. Ugh. Where'd it go? <laughs> there it is! <laughs> Jeez! Friggin' A. Gosh, though. Yeah, they all have, um... My Guardian's unconscious. How did they even happen? Work job. Where'd you go? That ha... What it... What happened? Oh, gosh. Ah! How does he? I guess he's. Whoa! Hi there, everybody. Oh god, I'm dead. Oops. All right. Let's unsummon all these dudes. Those are some difficult guys. Friggin' ebony equipment and stuff. That's wild. Workshop, there you are. Follow me. And guard. Bye, Ebony Mace. What'd you miss so far? Uh, we discovered that this uh, tower that we were in before is actually a dynamically generated dungeon uh, added by Masker's Oblivion Overhaul. So apparently, you can just find things like this uh, in certain caves and around wildly, which is kind of cool. Yeah, he must have, right. Good choice of words, too ill temper. Um, but yeah, now we're uh, continuing the Crowhaven quest. But uh, I'm noticing that the skeletons here are like friggin' yeah, ebony maces and stuff, so I gotta like really be careful here. It might be that I need to summon other stuff. You know, we could start in stealth and see how that goes. You know what, ideally let's fight them in a not grassy area so I can actually pick up their loot. That'd be a good idea. Well, every, everywhere here seems grassy. Oh, no. Okay. Good here. Let's save. Is that a mummy? Cool, it's a mummy! Get him! Nice! Ooh, sapphire silver ring, mummy wrapping. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll have pork chop get the kills for now. Are you my mummy? Found Crowhaven. Oh gosh, great. These bone knights are crazy though. He can do it. Oh, never mind, he can't do it. I, uh, for a second, I was like really convinced that he'd be able to take down the knight since he only has like a little bit of health left. Apparently, that's not the case. All right, pork chop, you can do it. Welcome to the bone zone. Come on, pork chop, you can do it. Get him. 
Get him. Get him, pork chop. There we go. How much experience you got now? You're rather happy. Let's uh, feed you some stuff. Oh, you're busy. How's your uh, experience? Good, good. What's that armor? Oh, uh, so it's a combination of... Uh, this is dark chainmail. This is chainmail boots uh, and leggings. Uh, chainmail gauntlets. And then these are... This right here is like some sort of shawl. And then like some like pauldrons and stuff from Kine. And then a uh, crazy winged chainmail helmet. Pretty sweet. Ah! Oh jeez, it's silence. Ah! Man, a pork chop. You can do it. Yeah, nice pork chop. Uh, you wanna have some food? No, nope, he's busy. Oh shit, there's a guy with a bow. When did I get that helmet? Uh, just recently, actually. Oh, pork chop, do not run in front of me as I'm swinging. Pork chop? Pork chop. Where are you? Pork chop? Pork... Pork chop? Oh, I've entered Crowhaven. Good. I give him some food so he's wonderfully happy. Okay. Let's head back out there. Alright, pork chop, let's go. Nice. Fine iron bow. It looks like blade armor. Nah, nah, it's, it's just normal chainmail. It just looks different because, uh, there's, like, crazy, um, crazy mods involved. No, I didn't get rid of Spooter. We still have Spooter. Uh, all animals are actually persistent in saves. So he's just chilling out in a cave close to our house. Nice. <laughs> and Porkchop doesn't give a fuck. He does not. He seems pretty good. But yeah, Spooter shall return. I just wanted to see how good Porkchop was. Level him up a bit. Oh, the Bone Knights. Yeah, the Bone Knights. They look like they have ebony armor. Yeah, they have ebony maces. Which is crazy. Alright, let me see. I do want to heal him too. Actually, we could wait, right? Nope, they're going to use Minor heal. There we go. Gosh, that is really expensive to use. Apparently, there's still some undead around here. Alright, that'll do. Between our health, I think it'll work. Make a save. Alright, pork chop. Let's see what we can do. Hmm. Don't actually see any uh, weird stuff. Oh, good. A repair hammer. I'll need it. Huh. Yeah, I don't see any enemies. Weird. There we go. Alright then, let's go in. Oh, uh, do I have cave vision? Yes. Silver? No. Okay, nothing. At some point we should do go uh, treasure hunting. What in the world is... Oh, those are bats, right. Missed opportunity for that'll do, pig. You're healed all the way, aren't you? Just check. Is that an imp? Or a gargoyle? Oh, jeez. He took up. Oh, it's an elder vampire bat. 
Ooh, you know what? That would have been cool to, to have as a companion. Oh, yeah? It feels like it does something weird with lighting and sneaking. Yeah, I do believe... Um, yeah, I'll have to look at that too now that you mention it. I feel like I sneak way too well. But yeah, uh, the lighting thing, you have to go on the I&I and, I and, and disable it because it, it makes things way too dark. Oh, is that what it is? Okay, so the increase of sneak is, is proportional to the increase in darkness. See, I need to get rid of that. Yeah, Gark. Crazy. Oh, so Pork Chop's confidence is low, so he runs away. Aha, interesting. Okay, I think we're gonna, probably gonna grab Spooter back. Pork Chop's cool and all, but he's 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 a little scaredy cat. You're just guessing. But yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, with the increased darkness, it would make sense that your sneaking would be more effective. I, I could see that. Ooh, Gargoyle Hunter and Flawless Ruby. Oh gosh, that hurt a lot. Yeah. Cool, but yeah, I have to uh, take a look at that as well. Because I was, <laughs> I was wondering, like, I mean, we do have... What's our sneak right now? I mean, it's 54, that's not bad, but it's really difficult for people to detect me. Like, really difficult. <laughs> but yeah, let's get Spooter back. Unless we can find something here. Let's, oh gosh, I actually killed him with lightning, so uh, he's kind of going crazy. But yeah, let's drop off uh, Pork Chop. Tent. Let's give you some food. Alright. And then I think we'll just bring you up here to Lost Temple. We'll grab uh we'll grab something. Um we'll go with Spooter for a little while longer, although like it would be very cool to have like an elder vampire bat and stuff. So we're going to release you. Yes. All right, cool. So Pork Chop will just sort of wander around here, um, which is pretty cool. Right? I can, like wait for an hour and see if he like disappears. No. Okay, he just wanders around the area. Cool. Awesome. Because he's uh he's I think once you tame an animal, they become like part of your save game. So he'll always be wandering around out here, which is kind of cool. All right, so in order to get prepared, I will need to tame Spooter again, which is going to be difficult, actually. Hello. Fail to tame. Hi there. Come on, Spooter. You know who I am. Stop trying to bite me, Spooter. Go. Hello. We can get it. It will actually raise our uh, speech craft, which is interesting. I won't fight you. Come on, Spooter. I wonder if, like, go. if you do command creature and then do this, if it's, like, instant. That'd be weird. Oh, here we go. Good. Here we go. Spooter's confused. Here, have some meat. Uh, he's wonderfully happy now. Great. He's upset I left him there all that, all that time. Poor Spooter. Oh, uh, follow me. Spooter. And guard. Oh, nice. There we go. The good old team's back. Fantastic. But yeah, if we see any more cool creatures, I mean, we should definitely go ahead and uh, try to see what we can do. But yeah, Spooter's the best. Hands down. 
He's got a friggin' paralysis spell naturally, which is just badass. What is this red guard mace? Oh wow, look at that thing. That's pretty damn cool. All right. You are here, in fact, aren't you? Booter. Did Spooter disappear again? Gosh. When... When the whole taming thing does work, it's amazing. But holy crap, sometimes it just falls through occasionally. It does look kind of goofy. It does kind of. Ha! Took care of the bone knight, the bone magi. staff you got there greater staff of dispel Ooh, and a cleverly drawn treasure map Ooh, and a mummy shame spooter's not here i'll have to find him again usually you just have to fast travel or go in out of doors a couple times and he comes back Yeah, it will be handy for splitting enchantments. You're absolutely right. I didn't even think about that. Expertly drawn treasure. Oh my gosh, the amount of treasure maps. Let's let's see what we got. If, the, if there's anything we can recognize. Okay. Cleverly drawn. In the Gerald Mountains. So it looks like there's an alien well in the Gerald Mountains. Um, that's interesting. Expertly drawn. Another one in the Gerald Mountains. Looks like a fairly typical house with a fence. Interesting. And I think that's the one in the Great Forest. Hmm. Interesting. Look at the treasure maps and stuff we're finding. This is cool. Alright, so let me just... The Gerald Mountains is... Okay. I'm trying to see... Do we actually... Okay, so we don't have any on the map. But definitely something to remember. Okay, let me just fast travel quickly and uh, see if we can't get Spooter back. back in here for some reason splitting enchantments yeah it's a thing actually it's a thing uh hey lilac do you still remember the the code for spooter because he seems to be like really really lost i about have to do a move to player oh, oblivion crashed But yeah, it's pretty cool. Uh, basically what splitting enchantments does is you have like an altar and if there's an enchantment you want, you like that's on a piece of equipment that you don't want to wear or like you out leveled or whatever, you can uh, put it in, split the enchantment from the item and then put it on something else. It's really cool. It creates something called an inverse sigil stone, which is kind of cool. And works just the same way. that was right after that yeah, it was right after we got the maps yeah it's a mod yeah normally you wouldn't be able to do that yeah okay we can give it a try let me uh let me quick save here what was it um uh move to layer 
How's it, go how's it going, obsolete? How's it going? Good to see. You. Yeah, I was I was sick for a little bit, Bullet Club. Yeah, but I'm I'm better now. Yeah, I wasn't feeling well. I had like terrible like flu fatigue. It was nasty. All right, so you're saying it's FF zero zero four five nine three. It's a parameter float optional. Might need the prid, okay. Uh, prid. Let's see here. FF0 We lost Spooter, so I'm trying to get him back. Oh, okay, that's not the right one. It, I, it is something close. It is something close, though. Hmm. I don't know where Spooter is. Weird. I totally summoned him back, but oh well. Let's keep going. We're in Crowhaven right now. And we're uh, we're trying to uh, do the whole quest there. Found some like elder vampire bats and stuff, which is pretty cool. Sounds awesome. It's a shame that, like, part of the taming doesn't have some form of, like, I don't know, being able to teleport them to you. It seems very odd. Like, you'd think, because of the way that AI works in this game, you'd need that all the time. Well, I know it's gonna ruin the fight, but maybe I can do something like I can enrage him or something like that, but I know what you're saying. If I do the quest, technically it does ruin the fight. I know what you're saying. All right, what do we got here? Lots of beetles. Getting those sneak attacks, that's good. You were close? Oh, really? Just 9-3, cool. Or, uh, 3-9. Excellent. Um, grid, FF, zero, oh, zero, zero, four, five, three, nine. Hmm. Odd, it's not giving that to me. Huh. Yeah, it might have changed. As annoying, I do love the tame pets feature, but they really, really need to have a way to summon them. Right, that's true. I released him and retamed him. Right, that's true too. That's true. Oh gosh, a gargoyle. Wow, that hurt. Hey, close going, how's it going? Good to see it. Jeez. Oof, I'm dead. Wow. Friggin' A, that was a lot of damage. Probably should have summoned there. Maybe I should load from here, actually. True, we won't have the treasure maps, but I'd rather have Spooter. You're just doing your thing. Now that's a lot of damage, I know, right? Okay, let's get Spooter back. And I'll check his, his uh, name first. Hi there. Hello. 
fly stuff and just spell, I know, right? Uh, what do you mean without the DLC? Do you mean just like getting Darkest Dungeon without Crimson Court? Hello. Yeah, I mean, it's totally worth it. Um, some people actually prefer not to play it with the Crimson Court because um, it actually makes the game a I lot harder. So if it's your first experience, maybe just doing the vanilla game first uh, would be the best option. And then attempting it later um, ah! when, when you want to buy the DLCs, uh, you can go ahead and do that. Animal is too angry to continue to tame. How can you be too angry? What? Hello. Be able to tame the creature. Hello. Yeah, well actually what's interesting about the Crimson Court is all the stuff Hello. is optional. When you make a game file at any point in time, well, I don't think at any point in time, but you can actually turn off the features, which is pretty wild. Hello. Which is awesome because that sort of advanced form of just like being able to say, I like these mechanics There's or I don't like I these mechanics are kind of crazy. Go. There we go. Nope, you're still after me. Hello. Ah! Yeah, Dan Pat. I'm on the edge too. I'm on the edge too. I keep watching streams, uh, Kingdom Come streams, but I don't I don't know. So far, I haven't been convinced. But yeah, uh, definitely, uh, Darkest Dungeon like is is just fantastic. It really is. Um, even without the Crimson Court, and then like once you go through the uh, once you go through the game, um, like. Maybe you're, you'll want the extra challenge of Crimson Court and get afterwards. Definitely what I did. Right, Calm or Charm? Yeah, let me see here. Uh, we do have this. Okay, Charm. He is a spider, so I don't think that works, but we'll have to see. Why is Spooter being a dick now? Ah! I uh, I released Spooter. Hello. Uh, and then yeah, so I I released Spooter, uh, just to tame uh, Pork Chop and see how Pork Chop would uh, would be as a pet. I won't fight you. But uh, but yeah, so we're just retaming Spooter. I won't fight you. Failed to tame the creature. Hello. I think one of the things that might be happening is I do have um, reflect damage on my character. So Let's the fact that he's getting hurt occasionally. Two. Oh, there we go. We got him. Awesome. Let's give you some food. Let's see what you're doing. You're wonderfully happy. Confidence very high. Let's do this. No, yeah. Well, so I had to release the other one first. So that that's the whole reason why I had to do that. Uh, because you basically, based on your speechcraft that determines how uh how much or, or what kind of pets can follow you um but yeah so he's like an advanced pet so i can have one advanced pet or like two minor pets or something yeah so follow me and be my guard okay let's see follow me out the door Good. And then we're gonna fast travel. Hmm. Something goes wrong there. Yeah, let me let me load back up. Weird. He's not fast traveling like normal. Yeah, yeah, and I better do that too, you're right. Hmm, let me see here. I mean, that's the Prid, and then let me just check if this even works. Move to player. Huh, that is very strange because that, that is the exact same code. 
Huh. This is the exact same code. And you are, in fact, following me. That's not a problem. <laughs> yeah, here he is. Well, luckily, uh, they are essential once you tame a creature, which is nice. Uh, I'm just having a difficult time trying to get him to f follow me, which is a little annoying. There you are. Alright, let's check if those skeletons are out there. Here. Oh man, that stinks. There was like a whole like brigade of skeletons out here that had treasure maps and everything. Oh well. Actually, I wonder, if I load back... I'm just gonna test something here. Let me load back, like... This save, and then try the code again and see if he teleports to me. And thank you for the fall, uh, Samuel, uh, Tito, thank you. Appreciate the fall. Um, let me see, I think I need, what, print ID? Yeah, so weird. Okay, yeah, no, never mind. Odd. I don't know why that is. Also, didn't I have a more recent save that I did? Oh, that's odd. Very strange. Oh well, let's continue in Crowhaven. There you are. Okay. Now that everything's working. Okay, let's go. There we go. Yep, everything seems to be working now. Good. How odd. I'll have to look up better tactics, like in-game things, to be able to help with uh, having tamed creatures follow you. That was the only... That and one time you got stuck in a wall. But otherwise, it's been fine thus far. A wraith as a pet? That'd be interesting. I'm not sure if it's a tameable creature, but that'd be really cool, actually. I'm gonna have to be careful. The last time we went here, there was a gargoyle, and that was a very, very nasty experience. Let me just check something for a second. Okay, all right, that's weird. For some reason, maybe I exit out too quickly. And thank you for the fall, ominously one. Thank you, appreciate the fall. Let's see here, so he was in this one? Okay. Guess we have uh, different stuff this time around. Oh, Potion of Magicka, cool. A femur club, classic. But um, oh, that's Agronaut. Key, okay. Back up for a second, check out the rest of the place. Cool. Ghost noises. Hey, Jedi Master, how's it going? Good to see you. Actually, one of the things I would like to get, um, I would like to get a pet um, Spriggan. I think a pet Spriggan would be amazing because it would be able to summon a bear. So I'd have a pet that could also have a summon. I think that would be the ultimate goal. There's nothing in here. <laughs> yes, yes I do. It's a great picture. 
Pet summoning summon pets? Yes. Exactly. Hmm. Isn't this place normally filled with skeletons and stuff? A pet that summons itself one step further. Hey, there's a wolf in here. Oh, he is still active. Wow. Spooter, you want to come to my aid? Good going, Spooter. Yeah. Spooter needs his blood. I think uh, one thing that we might be seeing is... Um, I turned down the spawn rates for undead and for humans. And I think this is what's happening. Uh, because, yeah, I'm noticing there was a cave we went in before and there was no nothing in it at all. Uh, and this one is normally filled with, like, liches and skeletons and stuff like that. But yeah, I turned the spawn rate down because we were seeing too many of them on the road. But it looks like that's also going to dungeons as well. Friggin' A. That's, my, that's the only thing I could think right now, as, as sort of an effect of that. I'll have to take a look at spawn rates. One thing uh, I'm not a huge fan of when it comes to uh, installing mods and stuff like that, is uh, if a mod has a ton of features, it shouldn't activate all of them by default you should go through a process of choosing what you want because I'm, what, second week into this playthrough and still making tweaks to the I and I of things that I didn't even know existed. It's kind of nasty how that happens. Like, it's problems I don't know are problems until later on. And, you know, it's personal preference, but still. It'd be nice to have all those options and choose them beforehand. <laughs> oh yeah, it's a good one. It's a good one. Yeah, I don't think there were... Oh, I think that's Lord Leviticus. He's a vampire spooter. Yes. Oh, he sees me. There's... Yeah. <laughs> All oh, right, uh, vampires actually resist paralysis, don't they? I have waited in decades. You will be my beast. Where did you? I have waited in decades. You will be my beast. Jeez, dagger's pretty damn fast. Sorry, I hit Spooter by accident. Is it just me, or is Lord Leviticus' health not going down at all? Food. Yeah, Lord Le his health doesn't seem to be going down whatsoever. Maybe, like, when you are a vamp- maybe vampires work differently. Dude's like friggin' bare chest and fighting. Uh, food. Jeez. This guy is not effing around. I wonder if uh, Maskar's buffs uh, vampires to make them more powerful. Slash worth being. How's it going? We're fighting Lord Leviticus. We might die here, uh, because he's apparently incredibly powerful. Yeah, I might want to approach this fight with more summons, right? Let's see here. Um, 
I think I did get a potion of sorcery. Oh, that's not, that's not right. Yeah, his, his paralysis does nothing, yeah, which is really sad. Light armor increased. It's like his health isn't going down at all. You will be my Food. I can't believe we're still alive. Okay, there we go. I was gonna say. <laughs> After all that time. Okay. Damn. I sneak around and bash the skull like yesterday. That was fun. That was a lot of fun. Now, I'm gonna try something. <laughs> Rip Ving. I know. Let me just try something quickly here. I'm gonna save and I'm gonna alter an I and I file and see if it actually has an effect here. Just give me a second. I want to see if altering the encounters somehow in altered the encounters in dungeons and not just the overworld. Friggin' A. Let's see here, that's the creature encounters. That's Road and Wilderness, that's fine. Okay. Search for Undead. Okay. So... Yeah, I think that's what's happening. Gotcha. Okay. So, there's a separate section for encountering stuff in the wilderness versus encountering stuff in dungeons. And so I accidentally made it so that I set those spawn rates down, but those are global as opposed to just the road. So hopefully when we go in here, we should see a ton of skeletons. Either that or we're gonna go to the road and just be mauled by an army of zombies. I don't know. <laughs> Yep, that seems to have brought back all the cool. Okay, cool. So yeah, that that's exactly what happened. Yep. That's exactly what happened. It reduced undead everywhere, not just on the roads. Blood! I need Ooh. your blood! Jeez. Oh, ah! Alright, let me see here. Uh we need to summon something. Um, the close quarters all go with a black hole. Oh yeah, Jedi? No, it's understandable. Yeah, no, totally. You can definitely pack yourself down. With that. There we go. That's pretty wild. Though. Yeah, it actually looks like they do regenerate health. You're gonna have to be careful about that. Oh, I actually contracted vampirism. Have to be uh, more careful. Am I supposed to be impressed? Oh my gosh, yeah, actually vampires are wicked, wicked difficult to try and fight. I think this might be a thing where, let's see, is it something where I need to use a light spell? Hmm, they are wickedly powerful though. How am I supposed to deal with this? Oh yeah? Jeez. Ooh, you 
are white though. Oh, now that is a vampire patriarch, uh, which could be unleveled as well. So that's something to consider as well. Oh, very interesting. So yeah, it looks like we're definitely going to need summons or else we can't actually out damage them. Burn them. I'm a druid. That's the only problem. More bears, valid solution. Try to go with some sneak attacks at first. Yeah, very interesting. So yeah, it looks like uh, Mascars of Levine overall unleveled everything, so we're probably seeing some stuff that's like way higher level than we are. Plus, vampires have some sort of regenerative thing going on now. I wonder if he changed how vampirism works too. Maybe being a vampire is more awesome. Holy shit, there was a guy behind us? Yeah, there was. But I can't set them all on fire. I'm a druid. Druids don't use fire. That's not how it works. Also, is that a freaking Daedric Wakazashi? That was a boar. That's not what I meant to summon at all. Oh, freaking A, I'm so dead. Also, where's Scooter at? I got him! Living Maple Recurve. Dwarven Wakazashi. Lure them into the sun! That's, I mean, it's, it's a viable option if they're dumb enough, yeah. Unknown chest key. Very nice. Oh gosh, we got a lot of dudes down there. Uh, do I have anything lesser to summon? Got a wolf. We need a little extra distraction. Oh, should it? I, I've used whistle before, but it hasn't done anything. Like, you'd, you'd think it would have helped, but, like, for some reason it doesn't. Oh, gosh, it's like three vampire sorcerers. That's, that's just nasty. That's just really nasty. They seem to be very focused on me, though, so if I can actually get enough magic to summon more things, maybe we could work with that. I think the wolf is still active. Can we get like an elytra in here? Oh yeah? Oh cool. Thank you 4HP. There's there's so much stuff in the I and I file, friggin' A. Okay. Cool. Awesome. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. That, that saves me some uh, some looking for crazy things. But yeah, that that was the reason why we weren't seeing stuff in dungeons, so that's that's really nice to uh to have that fixed. There we go. So there's like an advanced summoning thing. Cool. Is Spooter blocking their way? No, I just, I think they're all just trying to go from range. Oh. Wow, they actually got a snipe on me there. Damn. Maybe let's just try Lord Leviticus first and, and see what we can do there. Cause gosh, it seems fighting like all those vampires is insane. We might have to get some, like, advanced tactics just to take out, uh, vampires. Maybe there's, like, maybe I have to go into, like, silver weapons, or... Maybe I should get, like, a fire-enchanted silver axe or something like that. That might be helpful. We'll have to experiment and see, because I know Mascar's ability and overhaul does some weird stuff. Yeah, druids can make... Oh, yeah, we could make, like, poisons. Yeah, that's true. Fire poisons and whatnot. That could work. Granted, I suck at alchemy. I, I haven't really specced into that at all, but that is definitely something we could do. Okay. So let's summon some stuff ahead of time, shall we? 
So we got a boar. Let's get a bear. Right, I'm thinking a boar and a bear and a spider will be enough. There we go. Okay. And then we'll see if we can't sneak up on it. Let's also make a save here. By the way, this is set to the easiest difficulty for Mascar's Oblivion Overhaul, just, just for perspective. Uh, base game is 50, which is like normal. Pretty wild how that how that all happened. Oh shit, I was hitting Scooter instead. Down. Oh, really? Foreign cottage, cool. Oh, so you're saying, uh, lighting effects sneak. And it's a vanilla oblivion feature, interesting. So if a mod messes with lighting, it also messes with your sneak. Interesting. I'm wondering how we can remedy that because... Oh, I don't have anything to feed him. Because yeah, um, I believe the weather mod does something to lighting? I, or something, yeah. I mean, so far like he saw, so it makes sense, but yeah. Mauled by a pack of tamed animals, I know, right? Letter. Uh, I was heartbroken when you rejected me. Uh, tell me what I can do to win your heart. I will slay trolls, walk through foreign thorns, uh, fast for a week. Please don't shut me out of your life. I love you more uh, than a flower needs sunshine. You're f***ing taking off. Yeah. We'll take all the... What else we have here? It's kind of dark. Books. Chest. Ooh, another chest. Do I ever read the books in Oblivion? I don't really do the, the whole reading the lore books thing. I always promise that I'm going to do like a lore book day and I'm just gonna go ahead and like read everything. But there's, there, there's some interesting stuff in a couple of cases, but yeah. There we go. Okay, we're not messing with that. Did you see how that had a flash trap and a fire trap in it? Yeah, nope. Not even going to attempt that. Oh, when I play alone. Oh, that doesn't happen. Like, I don't play video games off camera. Like, you you guys, right here, right now, is when I play video games. It's a mimic! What the hell? Try taming it. Gosh. Well, we have Spooter with us, so that wouldn't really work out too well. It's also through the wall a tiny bit, which is kind of weird. Now it's really through the wall. Spooter's trying to climb after it. Oh, jeez! Pop through. That would be kind of awesome to have a Mimic as a pet. Let's see if it's even possible. I might not have good enough speech craft. 
I have no chance. Yeah, yeah. So I have to get way better speech craft in order to do that. That sounds really cool. It's definitely the best trap for a hoarder. You're absolutely right. Alright, get him, Spooter. I got him all ready to go. You can do it. Ah, crap, Spooter. <laughs> Damn it. Get it, Spooter. I'll keep it busy. Get him. Nice, Spooter. Cloud Scimitar. Almost Topaz. You're rather happy. Got some experience for that, sweet. Uh, basically, he gets experience, so I let uh, Spooter get the kills occasionally, uh, if I can. Sometimes it's a desperate situation, I can't really do anything about it. Very cool, though. What is this Cloud Scimitar two-handed? Oh, of course, right. I'm not an expert in sharp weapons. Yeah, probably. Yeah, yeah, probably. I mean, I don't remember mimics being in Elder Scrolls lore, but I mean, there's you know, Daedric gods and stuff like that. Like honestly, it, it's, it could be the brainchild of of who knows what. I think uh, the two-handed is is just like you actually, yeah, it is a two-handed blade as opposed as opposed to a one-handed blade. I think that's what it means. Gosh, these dudes are tough, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah two-handed. Yeah, that's that's so interesting. So we we had pork chop with us, but if you notice, um, Spooter has a very high confidence level, whereas uh, pork chop had very low. So he would leave after like he was hurt and like just totally book it and like go out of the door. Um, so it's interesting how, like, creatures can sometimes have different, like, abilities when it comes to, uh, combat and whatnot. Really? There are mimics in the Elder Scrolls lore, but they're not chest mimics. Oh, so are they more like, uh, the sort of changeling fairy thing? Oh, right, I haven't grabbed the journal. You're absolutely right. Whoops. <laughs> Good call. Good night. I thought there was something else I needed to do in there. Let me also repair. We do look freaking cool though. That that new helmet is fantastic. It doesn't give us any uh, any better defense, but it's it's freaking cool. It's got freaking wings on it. Is there a journal here? On that. Friggin' mimics, though. That was crazy. That was absolutely crazy. But yeah, we'll have to, um... I'll have to take some time to, uh... To, to work with, uh... Ah, here we go. Lord of Leviticus' journal. There we go. Nice. Oh, I think I actually need to take it. There we go. I've discovered a journal of Lord Leviticus. It does indeed contain information about uh, Agronach Gomalag's birth, but it proves he was the spawn of a vampire. Agronach won't be very happy to hear this, but it's the proof he wanted. I must uh, take the journal to him in the Imperial City Arena Bloodworks. Oh yeah. Alright, cool. Well, um, let's attempt to take down those vampires. Uh, Fridays are shorter days because I have a tabletop game uh, that I go to every Friday. Um, but I always take the time to do like a little mission, explore a tiny bit, stuff like that. Uh, I think tomorrow I might start earlier if I can. So I might start at 5 
maybe even earlier if I can swing it. Uh, that way we could, like, I don't know, do like a whole bunch of crazy stuff. There's a mod called Angry Agronag? Cool. Alright, so let me summon everything beforehand, because we are absolutely just going to get pounded by uh, crazy stuff here. So let's get a bear. Oh shit, that's the wrong bear. Damn it, that's the druid bear. The druid bear is awful. Oh shit. Um, that is not what I wanted at all. So far, for some reason, the uh, the summons as part of the druid mod, they don't work too well. I don't know why. Okay. Actual bear summon. Boar. And a light trap. Not enough magic. Second. Alright, and let's hope we can do this. You see. More bears, though! I mean, we'll see, but last time we used him, like, he didn't go anywhere. It was pretty wild. Okay. That is a hell of a gang, though, isn't it? Yeah, right, yeah, Shivering Isles creature with me, isn't that cool? Yeah, it looks like we got a vampire going on. Yeah, yeah. I think it's something to do with the... There's there's some weird stuff. I don't... Uh, there's, there's so many... There's so many mod interactions going on, half the time I don't even know what's going on. You went invisible. Notice how he's taking every opportunity to shield back me too. I think Spooter got the kill there, actually. Did you? Spooter got the kill! Very nice, Spooter. Very nice. What'd he drop there? Tempered broadsword worn. Our Patriarch Dwarven stuff. Vampire dust unknown chest key. I'm over encumbered. Sneaking around with the whole zoo behind you, I know, right? That that's that's that that was the idea of this playthrough, is that like I'd just slowly be able to accumulate an army of creatures to follow me around. That was that was the idea behind this character. Alright, let me just drop some stuff off. Friggin' ebony mace. That's that's some like crazy unleveled loot right there. Insane. Oh yeah, we do have a medium backpack. Oh, I was just about to say the, the dispel staff we got. That was in an alternate time where I was alive um, and Spooter followed me. <laughs> that didn't happen this time around, did it? Anything else we gotta worry about? Huh, interesting. I guess we were luckier this time. Um, as opposed to having like three gigantic freaking vampires summon, it was just that one guy. Interesting. Did I drop my herders crook? Oh, that's okay. We can get it back later. Oh, a couple chests though. Let's check those out. Got that. Oh. 
He's freaking. Can I? Oh, failed to disarm the trap. Oh, it destroyed the gold, too. That's a shame. I gotta get better at security so I can disarm those traps. Is that your spider? Yes. Needs a key. Oh, I opened it. Oh, nice. Woven gold. It's beautiful. Where did my spider go, actually? I really need to get on top of the whole, um, not disappearing things. <laughs> Apparently there's a thing in my eye and I file I can use, so I'll do that. Right, otherwise, I think we got everything else, so that's good. A hissing chest, yeah, they're trapped, uh, which is pretty wild. I have to get better security in order to disarm them, and I have a chance of actually getting a poison effect of them. That I could apply to weapons and stuff. Oh crap. Spooter. Where did Spooter go? No, I don't think he actually grows in size at all. I think your your uh, tamed pets stay the same actually. Oh, whoops. The wrong one. Here we go. Alright, cool. Well, I've got to go to a tabletop game, uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, we'll be back uh, next time. Uh, what we'll do is um, we'll continue doing uh, the, the quests. I want to figure out a way to make Agronach Malag actually attack us and do that. And then um, I think as a druid, our, uh, our first thing that we should probably tackle is ridding the world of necromancers. So yeah, I think that's what we'll do is we'll continue the uh, Mage's Guild quests, rid the world of necromancers. Sounds like a good thing. <laughs> right. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. All right, see you, everybody.